guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joy O'Keefe, and in this week's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make uh, outdoor curtains for a gazebo. I made the roof, well, I posted the video last week, but oh my goodness, it took me forever to make. Check out that video, it is linked in the description below. But this week is gonna be showing you the outdoor curtains that go on the gazebo, and they turned out great. They were fairly easy, basically cut pieces of fabric, added some Velcro to them, and hung them up. But they make such a difference, they make the gazebo just look finished. Curtains just, I don't know, they always add a little something like pillows on your couch and on your bed, they just, they make a world of difference. So if you need curtains for your gazebo, they really help with uh, shelter from the wind. Obviously they help with uh, shade from the sun. You could always add screens to it. I don't need it here as much. We don't have that many bugs. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I have many more DIY projects. I'm gonna end up finishing the gazebo here soon. I have some cushions to make, and then I'll show you the whole thing, the before and after, quite a difference. Um, also, probably starting September, I'm going to be uh, redoing my RV from top to bottom, or I should say end to end. It's going to be it's gonna be pretty amazing. I'm super excited to get started on it. All right, so like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you like the video, please hit like. Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna do the curtains now. I got some black duck cloth, super excited. Got it Joanne's half off. I'm gonna make basically four panels. They're gonna be 60 inches wide each. Almost be wide enough, because each panel is 80 inches and I'm doing three. So it should be pretty close. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna bore you with all the sewing. I'm just gonna kind of tell you what I'm gonna do. Okay, obviously, you know, normally when you make curtains, you would hem the sides and the bottom and then the top, you figure out how you're gonna hang it. But because I'm using the full width, I'm not cutting it. So the full width is gonna be 60 inches, which, which is the width of the fabric. And the, the edges of it, they're, they're finished. And there's just outdoor curtains. Well, I'm not even gonna hem it, which will actually save me an inch or two of width. Otherwise, you know, if you'd hem, you're you're cutting out at least an inch on each side. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna attach, I'll show you in a little bit when I'm done. So in certain spots I have drawn out where I'm gonna have Velcro. I love the curtains for decoration, but these will, the three panels are actually gonna help with wind. I may eventually do the other three sides. Two of the sides opposite each other are open. Those are kind of the doorways and then the other spot is a bar. I wouldn't be able to do a normal curtain there anyway because the bar splits the panel in half. So nine yards and they had eight and three quarters. Threw it out on paper and I think it should work. I may be a few inch, couple inches shy on the very, very ends. I'll have to measure and like I said, how long my Velcro, strips of Velcro are gonna be. I'll have to figure that out. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do to hang it, because I can't do a regular, you know, we just take fabric and just loop it around, right? And your bar or rod goes in there. I can't do that because it doesn't come off. It's all fully attached. So what I'm gonna do is, thank goodness I'd actually had just bought some and they're half inch. So I'm gonna do grommets. I'm going to do a double, cause I don't need it. I have room to hem um, lengthwise. So I'm gonna go down an inch and a half and these are half inch. And I'll show you how these work once I get my uh, fabric cut. Cause these are half inch. So I'm leaving a half inch and then this is a half inch. And then I'm gonna have another half inch at the bottom. Cause that's what I'm gonna sew probably a little less than a half inch from here. And then I will attach these. Let me get cutting and then I'll show you how to do the grommets. Be back in a minute. I've sewed the curtains over, right, inch and a half. Now I've marked with a white spot where I'm gonna put the, the grommet. So now what I'm doing is here's the tool kit. They give you a little, I've done a few. So they give you a little thing little pad to hammer on because you don't want to do that into your actual table or anything because you'll ruin it. You ought to hammer quite a bit. There's two layers of thick canvas. Okay, so what you're going to do, let me bring you a little closer. So I'm going to show you here my little table. So the thing is, you got to have whatever you're doing it on, it's got to be sturdy. Otherwise, it just won't work. All right, so I did the hole. Here's the next piece. This is what you're going to be doing the grommets in. I'm going to show you one. I have this. Here's what goes in first. Okay, it's this piece. Here's what it looks like. I don't really care. These sides are almost the same, but let's just say this is the right side and you this is where you're folded down so this is a side quote the right side so that's gonna go here right so that's what you're gonna see okay so it goes like this goes through your hole and the directions that come with the packaging is actually pretty good then you're gonna do the other piece and that's gonna go on top okay so it's like that and then they give you this tool that squishes this down so then you're gonna hammer voila 
out. So here's the back. This is where your hem is. And then here's the front. Okay, so I'm doing five of these on each four curtains. I'm gonna do all the grommets and then I'm going to put on the Velcro. We'll go from there. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been working on the Velcro. I decided to go ahead and show you guys in case you do wanna make your own curtains that you can attach to your canopy frame, whether it's the square or whatever shape. I mean, they're gonna be square panels anyway, but note to self. Sewing the Velcro on, you need to get hook and loop tape not the sticky. If you get the sticky on there, like the Velcro that you peel off the back and you can stick it to things, if you do that, your sewing machine is um, gonna hit you and you're not gonna have fun. You're not gonna be able to sew it. It's a pain in the ass. I've tried it, not on my sewing machine, just but by hand and the sticky gets all over your needle and it's no good. So you have to get the hook and loop tape. No adhesive. Otherwise, don't even bother trying to sew. And if you get the sticky, it's not gonna last very long on something like this if you're gonna be taking it on and off because um, probably, I think with the heat, the adhesive, I don't know how long it will last. I'm not saying it won't work for a while, but I don't, it won't be as, um, as durable or last as long as the, the stuff you sew on. Okay, so what I did is, I don't think I'm able to show, I'll show you in a bigger picture when I'm actually have them all hung. I just did most of one panel and took it down and did a test run and I'm super happy with it. So I kind of have the rest of the panels figured out where the certain pieces of Velcro are, are gonna go. But I just wanted to show you guys up close as far as sewing goes. So this is the inside. Remember where I have my seam? This is gonna be the inside of the gazebo. Just remember when you do these, they're not the sticky together. So when you sew them, you need to have them kind of, they're basically both facing the same direction. I'm trying to see if you guys can actually tell. Because what happens is, and always do a test run and practice. I had a thing I wrapped around it's kind of like a, a practice. So I made sure I was getting it the right direction or it would work. So I put this here. So let's pretend this is my pole. Okay, this is my frame. So right, you're gonna wrap around and then this way is gonna wrap around like that. Okay, so that's how you just, you make sure, see, it's flush. So that's how you have your loop. It's good to practice, make sure you're getting it the right direction. So I have one at the top, one in the middle, and then on the bottom, because I have a bottom frame that runs along, along the bottom, I have the similar, they're not as long, so these are extra long because they're on the side and that pole is extra big. These are a little bit smaller, but again, same thing. They're going the same direction like I did. I did a test run. So this is gonna wrap around one way and it goes like this. It's absolutely perfect. The other thing that I've done, so here's one for the pole from the bottom, and then this is going to be to attach to the curtain next to it. So not only are they attached at the top, the sides, the bottom, how I'm doing it is I'm, there's not a pole in between each curtain, set of curtains, so they're gonna have to be attached to each other with pieces of Velcro. I'm not gonna do a long strip. I'm doing like three small pieces because, I mean, it's not like an actual tent. Tent. It, this is just, you know, kind of a windbreaker. And then I decided as far as, how I'm gonna hang it. I cut some extra strips of the canvas and again tying would be okay But because I do have a lot of velcro I measured so I'm gonna just put this through here I'm gonna get a piece of velcro here and then put the other one here So that when I go to hang it, it's on the pole because there are certain spots where I need to be able to remove this So I really can't have anything permanent up there because I have to be able to open and close them And they have to go around certain poles and whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm I'm gonna sew five times four. I'm gonna sew 20 of these. I gotta sew on the rest of the Velcro on the other panels. And then once I'm all done, I will show you guys what it looks like. All right, see you later. Okay, quick side note. When you sew the um, Velcro, and they're the, gonna be the pieces that uh, attach the two different panels together, the two separate curtains, whatever you do, make sure you do the opposite. So what I'm doing is, this one is on the one side. So when you go to attach the next panel, I suppose, it depends on how you're gonna do it. So I'm gonna do it to where they're gonna be like this. They're not gonna be overlapping, okay? So it really doesn't matter, I guess, which side of this I put it on because it's gonna be like this. I could either attach it, which I probably will do, on the same side, okay, in case you're overlapping. If you are overlapping, just remember to put the opposite piece of the Velcro on the other side of the curtain, not on the same side. That way when they do overlap, they stick because if you want them to overlap 
and they're on the same side, all right, they're gonna be like, like this. Does that make sense? So just remember, if you're gonna overlap, you need to do them on two opposite sides. Okay, that was it. I'm gonna keep sewing. All right, so I finished the curtains. I got them hung. I have tested them out and opened them up. They turned out pretty cool. My husband is like, these are the coolest things ever. He wants me to make two more for the doorways. So I'll do that eventually, not right now. Let me show you what they ended up looking like hung and not out though, not spread out if I can do. Actually, let me flip you around. Hang on, be easier. So here's the one top Velcro I showed you. This stays attached all the time. So then I have another one here for my hand, but <laughs> right here. And then there's a couple more down on the bottom. Show you all those a little better once it is opened up. Oh, and there's a spider. See the little spider? Isn't that nice? It's not that big, it looks bigger on screen. Oh, I'm gonna put you down and you're gonna watch me open them up. All right. Okay, so I'm going to open them up and then once they are open, I'll show you more of the details on exactly where I put all of the Velcro and the purpose of it and how it worked out. All right. It only goes to there. So I have a doorway over there, and then I'm actually in the other doorway. That's it. So anyway, there's basically three walls, four, four curtains. Let me turn you around here. All right, so they're not 100% sealed. They're not like some of the ones that actually zipper up, which I was on purpose. I don't need them velcroed all the way down. I mean, we are outside, and if it's super bad, or, you know, windy, stormy, I'm probably not going to be out here anyway, and I don't really need anything for bugs. Bugs aren't that bad here, plus I have my bugs out here. Said I velcroed at the top where they go together, whoops, and then in the middle, and then I did one at the bottom, and then see how they're attached at the bottom also? Okay, there's the four panels. All together, so it's enclosed. And we did have a, have them closed with a fire the other night, and it, it wasn't really cold out, but a little bit. So it actually did help quite a bit, keeping some of the warmth inside. So definitely pretty happy with how they turned out. Well, thanks guys so much for watching the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you feel empowered to now go make curtains for a gazebo if you need to. They, like I said, they're pretty easy, but they can make a world of difference. Hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more DIY videos. Thanks. Mm -hmm.